This is the Klein TI-250 rechargeable thermal imager, and this is a color thermal imager too. Now you're probably thinking, all right, what the heck is a thermal imager, and why do I need one of these things? Well, these are great little devices to have. What this is, is think of it as a camera. Think of it as like an infrared camera that you go around your house and you shine it, you kind of wave it towards the wall and the ceiling there. And what this does is it helps you find, like in the summertime, for example, heat loss, where you're losing heat through cracks in the wall or poorly insulated walls or ceilings, or it will show you where you're losing heat or air conditioning through your gaps in the doors and the weather stripping and stuff like that. This would be a really good tool to have if you're a home inspector for a buyer. And the cool thing about this is you can store pictures on the micro SD card and you can email them out later in your reports, but you can use this to chisel down the price of the house because you could point out, hey, you got major heat loss here. Uh, my thermal imager discovered major heat loss along this portion of the roof here. We think you have a roof leak or we think you have issues with the insulation. That's going to cost us thousands of dollars to get that repaired. So those are the kind of things that will help you out there. Hey, and you as a homeowner or a DIY enthusiast would also benefit by using this because you could solve your own problems with it. You could use this to help find out why your air conditioning vents are sweating on the ceiling or if you have air conditioning vents sweating on the wall. You can also take it to help your friends solve their problems as well with their houses. Now as an electrical engineer by training, and I also do a lot of electrical work on our house and other people's houses that we know, looking for something like this, and I already know Klein too, so I saw this show up on Home Depot's website as a new product over the summer, and I said, I gotta take a look at this. We'll put the links below for you in the video description. As a disclosure, you know, anytime we give you links to like Home Depot or Amazon, we get a small commission. And so we appreciate you folks supporting our channel by choosing to buy your tools and stuff through all of the links that we provide for you. That's what helps us keep producing more great content for you folks and we keep buying more and more tools to do our tool giveaways with. The Klein TI-250 Rechargeable Thermal Imager gives you over 10,000 pixels, which gives you excellent resolution to troubleshoot any of your hot or cold spots that you might find on the wall. It has a user-selectable high and low temperature alarms that range from minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit up to 752 degrees Fahrenheit. You can also adjust the emissivity from 0.1 all the way up to 0.99. You can store and share images with a micro SD card that does not come included. You have to buy your own card. Share it, you can load the SD card into other computers. Your Klein thermal imager also includes micro SD charging cable and a storage pouch. So this here is your handsome carrying case. And you just unzip it there. There's your instructions over here on the left. There's your charging cord here on the right. And here is the camera itself. We can get the palladium window there on the left to show up there. See how it's got that big heat signature there on it. And so it's showing at about 85 degrees, even though it's 72 in here, right? And then here's the other palladium window over here. So this shows a similar thing too. And if you look closely, you can see that that, um, the division lines there where the metal is, those are always going to be hotter. They seem to get a little bit warmer than the surrounding areas. Same thing when you look back at the other palladium window. That's how you can tell. Okay, so it's calibrating for a second there. And as you scan down to the lower windows there, you can see they're a lot cooler. Oh, A, because we have the blinds on there. But also, it's really shady at that part of the front of the house there so you're not going to see any heat okay now this part here is going to be the most convicting part of anybody's house so here's your hi-hat lights up here they're about 18 feet up and then if you look here as you scan across the ceiling you can see the outlines of the hot lights up there 
and just how hot they're getting there. And it's interesting how the lights are not even on right now, but yet those are the hot spots. Yeah, so when the builders put these pot lights in, I don't think anybody realized back in the early 90s that these pot lights all have little holes and stuff on them. If you go up in your attic and look down while these lights are on, you'll see all sorts of light coming up from underneath. And so you're losing air conditioning up there. You're losing heat. And also a lot of builders don't properly cover these up according to the building codes like they're supposed to. They're supposed to put a cage on the attic, a cage over each one of those and protect it and then drape the insulation over that. And uh, very few of them do it. I've only seen it done in one place. And then interesting too, as we come down the, the wall there, you can see the outline of the studs on the wall. Now that's an exterior wall. They're not really studs there. Those are furring strips. And so the furring strips there, you can see they get a little bit warmer because you know, you're only talking about an inch space in there between the drywall and the concrete block. And there's probably very little, if any, insulation. Sometimes they'll blow in some little bit of insulation in there. Uh, newer, newer construction homes now, we use this kind of a foil bubble type insulation that we staple over the studs on the exterior walls. That's our newer codes. So here's the register here that's sweating so much. So let's take a look at what we find up here. As you image it, you can see there's the cold spot in the middle there and it's showing that it's coming out 47 degrees see so you can see it's coming out about 47 46 degrees now sometimes you'll have little holes in the drywall like if something pokes through so let's go ahead and see what that looks like there see right in the middle there you can see that hot spot on the wall there on the temperature looks like about 84 degrees at the peak but it's a little hard to tell okay so now watch this let's take a look here with the, the Klein thermal imager at the bottom of this flexible ducting here so you can see at the bottom there see where it's all that dark blue there that's where it's super cold compared to everything else around it see so right now it's showing at about 74 degrees compared to what it's saying is around 94 degrees in this section of it here 97 up top, but you can definitely see the cold section along the bottom there. Okay, so now as we check out the thermal imaging on the duct right where it meets the boot there, see? See how it's nice and red right there where the insulation is? That's the way it's supposed to be. You shouldn't see any blue color at the bottom there. You might see a little bit leaking up on the actual duct here, but it, for the most part it's looking pretty good and warm which it should be because we are in a warm space but anytime we aim it down at the bottom we shouldn't see any cold colors down there now you can see that it's showing the ceiling up around it's around 87 degrees I want to confirm that with my other temperature gauge 52 50 I actually measured 47 degrees at one spot up there if you can get this up close enough to the vent there to take the reading but look here on the ceiling. So the ceiling we're measuring about 80, 81, not too bad. Okay, so now if you look right here, we're looking at the trap door through the infrared imager, and you can see the image of it right there. Okay, so if you're finding this video useful so far, hey, you folks know what to do by now. You come down here, you click on subscribe, you make sure you click here on the alerts and say all, select alert all alerts from this channel. That way, every time we come up with a great new video like this, you'll be alerted. And whenever we do our tool review videos, you'll be alerted. So thanks for joining us today, folks, and we will see you on the next one.